YouTube. I'm your host Mohamed Azam and in this video I'm going to show you that how you can apply different filters on your images and this is kind of related to the last tutorial I did. I think it was part number 33 on camera, how to use a camera, how to take pictures. If you have not seen that, I highly recommend that you do so. I think it's part number 33. Go ahead and watch that. I think it's like 12-13 minutes long. And in this one, we are going to see that how you can apply different filters like sepia, black and white and all those different filters that you have already seen in apps like Instagram. That those applies, uh, Instagram applies different kind of filters and uh, we're going to see how you can use that in iOS 5 application. So uh, this is my view controller, it doesn't really have anything so I'm just going to say UI image view where I can actually display the image and um, I can um, resize it, okay, oops, so I can resize it so that it's uh, much smaller I guess, all right and um, image for image selection I'm just going to use oh I don't have the image I cannot believe it okay so let's go ahead and see where my images are uh, this one and if you can see if you can hear the sound in the background this those are actually literally those are frogs in my backyard and uh, they are extremely loud Uh, what happened okay let's save that click over here let's see if this image is over here so I'm just going to use this particular image okay um, for changing the you know changing the the contrast or changing the values we are going to use a, a slider control and uh, let's actually make it to lower here and you can color it, you can do whatever you want to do with it. Now these properties, of course, these things are on the user interface level. So we need to define some way so that the controller, the, the view controller can access it. So we are going to expose properties. I'm just going to say property, non-atomic, weak, and IB outlet. And uh, what is this? It's a UI image view, right? So UI image view and uh, image view. Same way, property, non-atomic, weak, IB, outlet. Uh, this is the UI slider and we are just going to say this is a filter slider. I'm going to go into the implementation file and um, synthesize those properties. So this is a uh, image view and a filter view or filter slider okay filter slider and then we have to go to the storyboard and connect them so let's go ahead and do that um, so here is our filter slider I'm just going to connect to the slider control and the image view which goes on to the image view control and that's pretty much it uh, let me run the application of course it will not really do anything even if I change the value of this slider because we haven't hooked up the slider to anything All right, so it doesn't really do anything and we are going to apply a sepia filter on it um, let me see over here let me uh, go ahead and copy some code because that code is not that important so let's go over there um, so first of all, we need to get some event fired when you change the value of a slider. So we are going to fire a filter value change event. Okay. And the filter value change event is a is the event which is fired when you change the slider value. And it fires the apply filter method. So let's go ahead and apply or let's go ahead and implement this method. Just create the uh, declaration of the method. Apply filter and this will take a float value. Just going to say value and here we go. Alright. So the filter can be applied between the value of 0 to 1. 1 means that the filter is completely applied. So if you are changing a black and white value, 0 means that you're not really applying any black and white value to it or you're not changing the 
colored picture into black and white and one will mean that you are actually changing the color and uh, making the picture black and white. Since we are using core image framework, we have to add the framework. So I'm just going to go to build phases, link library, and add the framework over here. And I'm just going to add the core image. Here it is. Just add that framework. So now we can use the uh, core image features that are provided uh, by Apple, by the SDK, iOS 5, and we can apply different kind of filters. All right. Um, so core image basically works with the use of the CI context, which is the core image context. And so we are just going to declare core image context over here, and we're going to name it context. Filter is actually declared with the CI filter. So we're just going to say CPI filter. Or you can say basically it's a general filter that you can use. Now to apply the filter, um, let's see. So apply the filter, we are going to uh, use the method apply filter to apply the uh, to apply the filter on the image. Okay. So the first thing is that we will get the image. So CI image, begin image. So we are just going to get the initial image that we want to apply the filter to and ci image is the uh, the core image in it with image and you can see that this it can allow or it can instantiate itself by using the ui image ui image image named and then just supply the name of the image that you are using um oh i thought the image name is biscus okay anyway I think I'm using a different image, biscus.jpg. I don't want to use that image. I thought there was another image called biscus small or something. Here we go. So let's use that other image, which is much smaller. And it, of course, does depend that if the image is large or small, because you're going to apply the filter and generate the whole image depending on those dimensions. So let's go ahead and also change this to Biscuit small, okay, and we are going to go to our view controller, and instead of using this one, we can simply say uh, biscuit uh, underscore small, and uh, there we go. Sepia filter. Now we are going to apply the sepia filter. We are going to create our sepia filter over here which is CI filter and then filter with name. And you have to provide the name, which is CI sepia tone. That's the name of the filter. And now the, the, it has a different kind of things, like different kind of key values. Okay, so we are going to say the input, uh, basically the image, input image uh, key, I think, here we go. So the input image key, the input image which we are trying to transform in this case is begin image. Okay. And then we have the input intensity. So how, may, how much you want to change that image. And we have that thing in the number. So we can say NS. It takes NS number. So basically number and then number with float. And then pass in the value, which in this case is this. And then we are going to simply use the uh, filter output image uh, property to get the image. I mean, uh, the method to get the image. So we can simply say CPIA filter and then it has the output image. It's as simple as that. But even though we have the output image, it's not going to be displayed. It has to be created. So CG image ref and then the final image CG uh, IMG image is created by the context. Context, and then you can say create CG image. You are going to supply uh, the CI image, which in this case is output image, and you are going to supply that uh, the extent or basically the uh, rectangle that you want to convert, which in this case is output image, 
and then you can say extent. There's a new property which will give you the dimensions of the rectangle that you want to convert. And then lastly, you are going to simply say that self uh, dot image view and then set image and then um, you're going to say UI image image with CG image. So here we go. And then CG IMG image. And don't forget to release uh, the context. CG image release. And then you are going to say CG, I mean, see, uh, not release the context, but release the image. All right. So let's build this. Okay, let's see what I'm I number with float. Okay, I think I'm uh, losing one value over here. No. Let's build this and run this. Oops, nothing actually happened. Um, that's kind of weird. So let's see what we are doing wrong. Um, sender dot value filter change. I think so. Let's actually check everything out. Sender dot value. Hopefully we are getting the value over here. The value is sent. Okay. Let's uh, go and see. So minimum is zero. Maximum is one. So that is okay. And um, see if you have filtered and all the stuff. CI sepia tone, CI sepia tone, and then the final thing is input intensity. The input intensity, hmm, not sure where I am uh, doing it wrong. Let's see, so filter, and then the image is created, uh, image with image self dot image view set image UI image and then image with CG image um, let's see if I have to up oh, uh, did I do up oh, I didn't do that okay so I have to initialize of course the context and that is what I'm forgetting so context equal to CI context and then you have a context with options and we're just gonna pass in nil to get the default and let's try it now so you can see it's changing the values and this is not no filter applied and this is the maximum filter applied one thing that I have noticed is that the first time you do this it's very very slow and I believe the reason is the first time it's drawing, it becomes very, very slow. So if I say something like over here, self apply filter, and if, even if I say 0 0.1, then it immediately applies a filter, okay? And now it's much actually faster. But of course, uh, it's, you know, that thing has to be set also correctly. All right. Or you can say 0 0.5, and now it's much faster, actually. So you can see that you can apply different filters. I mean, this is just a CPI filter being applied, and it's pretty easy to do that. And uh, there are so many other filters that you can apply. You can even create your own filters that I'll discuss maybe later, uh, you know, in the, uh, basically in the, in the screencast. And that's pretty much it. If this uh, screencast is uh, useful to you, I do accept PayPal donations. Uh, you can send out your PayPal donations to uh, adamsharp at gmail.com. And uh, thank you very much and stay tuned for more.